I'm gonna buy an infinite amount of houses for the price of one. You can't do that. The math doesn't add up. Yes, I can. Let's say I buy this rundown home for $100,000 and put 20,000 into it to fix it up. Okay, so you're in it for 120. The after repair value is approximately $200,000. And once it's all complete, I'll be able to go to the bank and get a cash out refinance for 75% of its new value. So wait, you're gonna end up getting $150,000 from the bank? That's more than what you put into it. Yep. And that money is tax free because it's a loan and I'm not taking any profit. It. Aren't your mortgage payments going to be really high if you do that though? They might be, but I'll be renting this home out and the tenant's rent will cover the mortgage payments, insurance, property taxes, and property management fees. Wow. So for $120,000, you're going to be able to get a property that gives you back $150,000 tax free while still letting you keep it as a cash flowing rental property. Exactly. It's called the Burr strategy and allows me to keep buying rental properties over and over again with the same amount of money. How did you learn how to do this? I follow Sean. He makes real estate easy.